Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where today was super mega stressful work. Also, I found out yeah, last time I recorded that friggin... I am pretty sure that the, one of the episodes I recorded I accidentally like uh, did not save the audio, the commentary audio for and I kind of want to die. Uh, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. So let's just go here. Uh, it actually is a huge deal. I'm pretty sure it was the episode where I popped off about mushrooms, honestly, and I'm really sad about that because I was like, I was like, oh, I was having a grand old time. And then, of course, I, for the first time in a very long time, messed up. Like, I don't, that has been years since I've made that mistake. And I know, I know what happened, but I was like, dang, nab it when I realized it. Anyway, I'm sad, perpetually. I think this tree is probably, like, super gorgeous, but it's so hard to see from at the holding. angle we're at. But it definitely reminds me of Lyrium. Oh, Scratch! I forgot you were out here, Scratch! What is up, my buddy? My little guy. My little boy. My little guy. What you finding? So, oh! What's this? I don't know if, it's, if this is what he's pointing at, but... Really? Oh my gosh, can we dig at the tombs? My friend said that you can just start digging sometimes. Nothing. No use to Oh, what? Am I blind? Was this here the whole time? I don't think it was. Anyway. I can't believe it won't let me Better not be cursed. dig it the dig up the grave. The rock under your feet oh. juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. You play in this water? Dig up the grave! I am not digging up the grave! I want to know what the gra I want to know more about the grave, but I'm not digging it up. I'm not a monster. Is that the lake down there? Where the lake- where the lake at? Oh, way down there, maybe. Building! Look at that! Cathedral-type building. Anyway, we were... Where the where the guy at? Oh, the forge is down that way. Jeez. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go. Oh. I want to go over here, right? Yeah. Report back to the Mike and Ian. Oh, hey, let me just go over there. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go get the I'll go get the other quest first, but no, I'm good. Why am I? Why are we in he like this spot? Hello, hello, Mushroom King. The woman? Oh, the woman's still here. Okay. I need a quick word. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. Yeah? The Durgar slain, the raw has been the purged. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you? A new harmony, serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Through violence, Fragrant you know. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Oh! Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. <gasps> That's right! Claim your reward. I totally forgot about that. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. Near his head. You have cut out the Dwergar blight. Dwergar. But not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among oh, Mykonid dead. Oh, that's, that's, oh. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. 
and I will know my circle is safe. Why, why am I doing a bunch of dirty work for you? Although, to be fair, the other mushroom guy wanted me to kill the Duragard too, and they were big old jerks. I do wanna... You're racking up quite the body I count. I ask a boon, and will give one in return. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death, and return. I mean, maybe I can talk to him to see if there's something else. Do I, do I have anything? Bliss spores! I have 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws until the next long rest. We are, how many? Heck yeah, we are doing great. I need a long rest for a little while, hopefully. Peace bringer. Be at home. I like this one. It's pretty. I didn't slay Glut, but uh, basically, it was scheming to slaughter you your circle. One with spores. Your throat oh. tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. I got approval. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. Whoa! I first named you Peace Bringer. I now name you Kin Spirit. Maybe I should go actually stabby stab. Uh, wow, Kin Spirit. I, I didn't realize this was going to be like a cumulative thing. Sweet. Okay, I will go get your people. Uh, but first, I have to go over here. I am jiving with the mushroom people. Look at the way the mushrooms wiggle. Oh. Pale corpse. That bodes ill. Yeah. Are you a drow? I think you are. Oh, maybe. Jeez, hill giant finger. Pegasus feather. I've seen this stuff. Flump, flump, flump. Those are the little. Oh, they're the cute little. They're the cute little nice things. They're like little fey creatures. Uh, that are cute, I think. Or I'm totally thinking of the wrong one. But I think flumps are those little cute, like, air jellies, kind of. Okay, let's read. The oh. cover proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. She's judging me. The, uh, the narrator is judging me. Nature... Trow nature flumps largely benign parasites, but what do you know of their love lives? Um Sure. Oh my gosh, I know a lot about their love lives apparently. Look at the way I'm holding that book. I'm like, hello, I get that's a weird way to hold a book. That would hurt after a while. Flumps reproduce asexually. This text contains exactly the opposite, with far too vivid details to match. Oh. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. Oh, I knew it had to be something. Simple instructions written in a spare hand. The <gasps> secret to forging adamantine. Oh my gosh! I knew it had to be something. Couldn't have just been a flump mating ritual thing. <laughs> the page is apparently copied from a master tome described the construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. Among the Sharns dwell the gnome Silav Yali. What is going on in the background? Whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to sorcery. Sorcery? That's the, that's the Underdark drow... Academy of, of of Magic, kind of. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built the Great Forge, which could heat Mithril with such vigor as to turn it to adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades in armor. Yet the jewel of Yeti's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it. A construct is said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. That was what the guy was saying the other draw was like saying something about fire or magma. Magma. Instructions for operating the Great Forge are listed underneath. 
raw mithra ore in a proper mold, place the ore in mold into the respective chambers, pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting, open the valve to allow lava into the crucible, and drop the hammer again to forge the product. Yet again, the oh. adamantine forge is mentioned. Surely I'm on the right track. You? You? I'm the one reading this book. I see metal. Okay, so I'm picking up pieces. I think that goes on to whatever spear and like spear tip thing that we saw. Um, what's this? Shadow of Menzabaran. Is that a helmet? Who is living in here? Whoever it was. What path lies before me? Freaking gone now. Or maybe this was like a cell, kind of? Kind of has more of a cell vibe, honestly. What? There, look, here he is! Oh my gosh, he's just chilling! Huh? Like, he, his body got teleported back, I think Subtle because steps. he would have, um... He would have come back here if he had been alive or something? I guess I am gonna kill him. change that we just go ahead and take him out like I feel kind of bad but I also just I get frustrated with like hero types being like oh like like half-assing things and then like I don't know people get hurt later you know and it's like if you had just done like if you like I don't know I guess it's like it's like oversimplifying it I know but like if the Batman just killed Joker, Joker wouldn't kill so many people. But then the argument's like, well, then someone else would do it. And it's like, I don't care. If Batman wants to protect people, he would kill Joker. Because Joker's not going to change his ways. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm oversimplifying, but... That's, uh, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, uh, if I kill that guy who was threatening me, and not just threatening me, but attacking me, and t threatening to kill a for someone who's not done anything to me, or anybody else that I know of, like, you know, besides, like, he's just reusing and recycling, like, dead bodies. There's some really cool stuff they're doing nowadays, too, with, like, um, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if, like, Mushroom Garden is quite the right thing, but, like, like, uh, what is it, like, environmental friend environmentally friendly, like, decomposition, and, like, I don't know, the idea of something using what you're not using anymore to grow is not a bad idea. I don't know. Not, not, not the worst thing ever. I'm more than happy to kill this, whoever he is, but tell me there's something in it for us. Oh, I did not, I did not get that last time, okay. Uh, I did notice also that um, enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Let's go hurt someone. Um, no, these okay. things have stayed um, interesting. I did notice something that I can't remember anymore, but I'm sure it was really important, really great. You know. Need to find a way forward. Ah, oh, his dead body. His dead body is here. Well, that makes sense too. Be he, be he alive or be he dead. They will, um, reuse and recycle, like I said. So, we did that. We completed that. I kind of want to save the Grimforge gnomes. And I haven't yet acquired a Seussure Bark, only a Seussure Flower. Let's go up here. I don't want to roam too far to the south. I want to finish off this northern area. But let me see. I guess let's run around this tree. Oh. Oh, okay. I had a tab or alt or whatever it is. Okay. Now I need somewhere to craft it. Oh, I did. That was easier than I thought. I thought I was like, I was like, maybe I need like a special tool or something. Nope. 
Yeah, don't look at that. Don't look at that. They got hit pretty hard. Jeez. But that'll fit in my pack. I don't know how much more is going to fit in your pack, honestly. Danger. Danger will rock. Oh! Okay, we can't blow things up. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's think about this. Um... I was like, oh, look, we should blow a bunch of stuff up. I don't think we have, like, a scroll to, like, I don't know, uh, change our form somehow? Scroll? I, okay, we got there. We got that. I don't know if that's going to work, but I feel like I should be a, a, a different form. These boots have seen everything. Stop! Stop! Bang. He's indeed surrounded by Bibberbang. The spores of those mushrooms are both toxic ah. and flammable. So I reloaded because that's just who I am as a person. Because <laughs> I wanted my character to be the one to walk into it. Uh, and and I just right out the gate, I was like, it is indeed Bibberbang. But let's see, this is quite a predicament you've landed yourself in. I know that. <laughs> Escape! My bag, please! I've dropped it somewhere! I don't know how he got in there. That's what I want to know. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, this is what I thought. This is why I reloaded. It was because I was Carlac and Gail approved. I've gotten so much approval for both of them in the last, like, five minutes. Where's the, the character sheet? Her relationship is exceptional. Character is thrilled with and very easily convinced. Asterion is neutral. Okay, good. Carlac approves. Gail really likes me, though. But, um... Maybe I will have Gail cast the spell on me. I'm quite ready for you. Oh, come on, Gail. Oh, but if I do cast it on me, I need to put myself separate. Okay. Still alive. Let's so see if this works. Progress. Nope. Still it does, way. but I don't take any damage. I kind of do. Oh. Is he alive? Uh, what? <laughs> he survived all of that, only to die right there. I freaking. I don't even know where I'm at in all this. Hang on a second. Oh. Surely. And then everything just goes up in flames. How did he get so far? Hang on, let's see. Yeah, it was ripe with magic. Uh-huh. Let's see. I can't no, okay. I'm gonna reload again. <laughs> oh <laughs> I thought Gassius form for sure. It's not like I have any like real mass. How am I triggering stuff? I was thinking outside the box and I got hit over the head with it. Ooh, he just did say, wait, how did I get here? Okay, he says his bag. Like, is there a way to like, maybe, maybe if I uh, turn base mode? No, we'll stop. He dropped his torch over there. I do not see a bag. I assume if the bag was near him, he he could just do it. What if I just... Oh, I don't think I can cast it from here. Well, and it didn't work. But if I make him invulnerable, I could get him to come over here, maybe. I don't... 
I think Gale would have to be closer to catch. It's like a very close range. I don't. I don't know if I have any sort of immunity. Oh. I gave myself back the drow sword. I think it's cooler. Lol, huh? Lol's candle. Oh, it's a gem. Okay. I love the gem sound. Ah! There's a route over here, maybe. Move. Ah, oh, there is. There it is. What if I just... No, no. Bad idea. Uh, what if I just... I'm curious. Nice being strong. Ooh. Nature and survival, thanks. Two things. No way about very much. I need that bag. Well. What I could do then now is mage hand. Now that I know where it's at, I could mage hand it over to him. Well, that is unless it freaking is triggered by mage hand. Okay, I'm into the the mode, the tactical mode. Is it? Oh, okay, I was like, is he? Oh, I'm all right. I was like, is he not gonna do it? Oh, he missed. He stepped out. Perfect. I can finally breathe. Uh, let me get over there. Ah. Uh oh. As, uh, what were you saying? Um. What are you doing down are you here? Tell it. She's... She'll be worried sick. I must... Need to go. Oh, okay. For you. Your trouble. Thank you. Don't blow Ta. up. Ta! Is he gonna... Oh, a scroll of invisibility. Thank you. We, d we certainly found the mushroom picker. She wasn't that concerned. We should tell her the good news. Uh, sh sure. I had to do a lot of reloading there because I'm I'm a little silly head and I kept messing up, making little mistakes, and I was like, no, wait! <laughs> well, I guess let's go back and, and finish that one. Mm, here. Why are you walking like that? It looks like, it looks like they're singing. Or like dancing to music in there. Kind of zombie-ish, but also kind of looks like they're like trying to conduct some music. It was kind of cool. Hi, are you so excited to have it's him back? Mine. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty yeah. as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Hmm. This is dangerous territory. You must be down here for a reason. Planting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can go grab that. Gate. The locals go mad for it. it makes it so Nearly valuable. Nothing it can't cure. Blindness, oh. poison, hair loss. Be worthless. Oh. Gloves and uninhibited Kushigo. The wearer deals an additional. These are monk gloves. 1d4 damage with throw attacks and attacks with improvised weapons. Forsaking his infamous, infamous armor, Kushigo left Irishi's body and wandered naked without thought or care into the barren countryside. The land was flat and desolate under the red gold sun, but compared to his lonely heart, it seemed alive with joy, sure. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about. You give it here. Gods know I've earned it. Give it? 
Leave Wait, a shop mushroom. in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Do you, did we'll I already ask her? You come across a noble stock mushroom about. You give it here. Whoa. Gods know I've earned it. Black and furnace, red dye. I'll buy that. And purple dye. Oh, I'll buy sage green too. Light blue, not so worried about. My friend, Bibberbag. Curious, beautiful, but dangerous. Next time, more careful next time, for certain. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. How did you get trapped to begin I, with? I think I, uh, uh, anyway, uh, what were you saying? Hmm. How do you wind a trap noble like stock. that? Yes, there it needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. A and a ledge. Yes, I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. Are you feeling all right? Seems like you get confused easily. My, um, my words get away from me. You'll have to ask Derith. She knows the ins and outs. Hmm. Well, she's been with him for so long. The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. All right. Mushroom. Where is it? Powerful. Yeah, I know. He's very good, my dearest. Very good at a brew. He seems really nice. I like him a lot. We'll have to be more watchsome next time. Watchsome. Maybe I go... Where was he? He's over here. I'm going to try really quick to see if I can grab myself that... Oh, where did I leave? <laughs> ah, I think I left my companions. I did. I, I most certainly did. You know what? They don't need me. I'm going to go to them. How convenient. Carlite can jump if we need her to. Oh, wait. Everybody. Oh, my gosh. Please, for the love. I don't... I suppose I could actually just blow. No, if I blow it all up, I think I will. Uh, I think I will lose the mushroom. Okay, so I did not do that gracefully at all. I don't know if I'll include it, but I managed to grab the mushroom, run away, and did not take as much damage as I expected because I got out before I mostly exploded. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> She's got it, though. She got it. She jumped down. She grabbed it. Gail was standing a little too close. I don't know. I don't want to give it to them. I want to keep it for myself. Restores a creature to full health and removes all condition that ne negatively affect it when consumed. See, that sounds very useful to me. Although, she does make a brew out of it. But she's probably going to expect me to buy it. I kind of want to keep it for myself. But that might be short-sighted. Oh, well. I will send everybody back to... <laughs> I love when I, like, come back in. That sometimes it seems like the people, like, all, um... Like, or like, oh, geez, and they, like, move around to their, like, assigned spots. Like, oh, when she's here, we're supposed to do this, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, save. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it in our little excursions of the underdog. A mushroom, just a bunch of mushroom themed stuff. So thank you again. Oh, and I wanna say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to uh, everyone. No, to especially everyone. <laughs> to my acorn tier patrons. Adam and Fane, thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supporting for a long time and I appreciate it. 
And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I cannot truly thank enough. So, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.